All right, this is the final Waves, Gizmos Waves Lab um, video. This is Activity C, Combined Waves. So we're getting our gizmo ready. We're setting our settings, um, Combined Waves, Amplitude 10, Frequency 0.75, Tension 2, and Density 1. So settings are ready to go here. Question, what does wave motion look like when transverse and longitudinal waves are combined? Observe, click play. Okay, let's do it. Observe the motions of the hand and the green dot in the middle. What is the motion of the hand? Um, it's circular. So it's both up and down and back and forth. So it's circular. And deselect the lights on box. Okay. And look at the green light also in a circle. In, in fact, we can say counterclockwise. or circle, circular. In a combined wave, the motion of the medium is circular. So each point of the spring moves in a circle as the wave is transmitted from left to right. Click pause. Okay. Click pause. There. Oops. There we go. Compare the crests, the high points, and the troughs, low points. What do you notice? Okay, so we have, um, we're looking at, compare the cross and the, what do you notice? Okay, it doesn't say measure. Um, so it looks, in, okay, so let's look at this. Um, the crests appear to be the refractions and the troughs appear to be the compressions. Um, when we were just a longitudinal wave, remember when it was spread out, that's a refraction. And when it was close together, it was called a compression. So what do we notice? So we notice that the crests are rarefactions and the troughs are compressions. Okay. Combined waves such as ocean waves do not look exactly like transverse waves. In the gizmo, the troughs are pointy and the crests are rounded. In the ocean, the crests are relatively pointy while the troughs are rounded. So that's true. It does look a little bit reverse of that, doesn't it? Next, we're going to do some measurements. So we're going to click reset and we are going to turn the lights on. We are going to show rulers, which we already are. We're going to set our frequency to one. Okay, one. And let's see here. So frequency to one, tension is two, density is one, amplitude is 10. Good, check. Measure the horizontal distance between two crests. What is this distance? So let's hit play and hit a pause. There we go. Um, the horizontal distance between two crests. Okay, so from about the middle as we can imagine there. And then, okay, it's a little bit difficult. I'm gonna go with 155. So this is 140, this is 150, then it's about right in the middle. So 155. What is the distance between two troughs? Let's measure. Okay. I'm getting the same number, okay. 155 centimeters. How do the wavelength, wave speed, and wave power of the combined wave compare to a transverse wave with the same settings? So the wavelength of this combined wave is 155. So we need to scroll up and look for um, when we were looking at a transverse wave with the settings of 10 amplitude, one frequency, two tension, and one density. So let's go ahead and swoop up and find that. So let's see, amplitude.
All right, to do this one, I'm going ahead to just, I'm just going to switch it to a transverse wave. So I went ahead and recorded the wavelength currently, the wave speed currently, and the power currently, and I'm just going to change this to a transverse wave. So I'm gonna hit reset, and I'm gonna change this to a transverse wave. I'm gonna make sure all my settings are the same. So 10 um, amplitude, one frequency, two tension, and one density. And I'm just going to do the measurements that I need here. Okay, pausing. So wavelength um, with combined was 155. Wavelength with transverse, let's see what that is. It's actually 155. Okay, so the same. Um, wave speed, 141.4, also the same. And wave power is actually less. So point. 279. Um, so how do they compare? Well, the wavelength and wave speed are the same, but the power is actually less for just a transverse wave, not for the combined wave. It actually has more power. Why do you think the combined wave is more powerful than either the transverse or longitudinal wave with the same amplitude, frequency, tension, and density? So that's a very good question. And where you're kind of speculating here. So you're not really expect, you're not expected to like have the, the answer, but just kind of thinking about it, what do you think the reason would be? All right, after taking a moment to think about what you think is happening here, try to give me your best guess. So the transverse wave by itself, the longitudinal wave by itself had less power, but when we have them combined, it's more power. So think about the difference in the way the, the motion is occurring. You have up and down motion, you have side to side motion for longitudinal, but in the case of the combined wave, you have actually both. So ponder that and give me your best guess and um, go ahead and submit your lab when you've completed all the sections.